Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm an EFT practitioner and I'm coming to you from Auckland's North Shore with some um, simple tapping that you can use for trauma um, and just help to settle you down after the difficult and whilst it still continues on, the really difficult and stressful circumstances that you've encountered. And you may be in the Hawke's Bay East Coast region or you might be in Coromandel or any part of New Zealand. Um, Tapping is going to help to just calm and settle your system. So I'm just going to say a few words by explanation. And while I do that, I'd actually like to get you starting tapping now. So if you just go to the side of your hand, that's the karate chop point. You can just gently rub it or you can just gently tap it. So when we're tapping, we're tapping on the body's acupressure points. And that's a way of actually sending a message to our brain and our body and particularly our nervous system and the amygdala in our brain, which is the scalp that's kind of looking out um, for danger and is very much activating the stress response. Um, it's sending a message to those places to say it's okay, you're okay, you can calm down. So um, some of you will be maybe struggling to function um, struggling to kind of stay focused and you know do what needs to be doing um, others of you might be you know just pushed it kind of aside and just kind of moved on to you know doing what needs to be done helping other people you're all going to be in different states in your nervous systems in terms of how you're handling this and that's also going to be based on where your nervous system was at before all of this even happened so wherever you're at the tapping is going to be really helpful for you and I'm going to show you just a really simple way, in fact a couple of different simple ways that you can do it for yourself. What we're really doing is we're sending a message to the body to say that it's okay, you're safe because what's happened is, is that your body hasn't had a chance to get that message. So whilst in your mind you might have already kind of moved past it, the experiences that you've had that were at their worst have gone but your body hasn't had a chance to process that or to catch up with the message that, oh, it's okay now. All right, so that's really what we're looking to do without getting into any detail whatsoever about what has happened or any experiences at all. So um, the other thing to just be aware of is that, you know, when you're in this heightened state in your nervous system, then your frontal cortex, this front part of the brain, um, has gone offline. And so it makes it very difficult to access logical thinking, problem solving, that kind of thing. So what we're wanting to do is just bring that part of your brain back online. And um, there are many other physiological benefits, which also include that it will help your immune system switch on. Because when we're in a heightened state in our nervous system, uh, our immune system is not immediately needed and so it switches off. Okay, so this tool is going to just be a nice silent tool, but I'm going to talk you through uh, how, how it goes, where to find the tapping points, and, um, and then we'll do some silent rounds together. So I'm wanting you to tap along with me to really get the benefits here. Just one other thing, we'll do some breathing. Just as we tap around, and I'm going to show you some points around the head and upper body, just maybe every two or three breaths, just take in a deeper, fuller breath, just as, as you can. Don't force it, but just allow a deeper, fuller breath to come in. And then it's great just to exhale that through the mouth. Okay, but we don't want you hyperventilating, so just do that as you can as we tap. Okay, so just following along with me. The reason we don't need to have any words with this for those of you who have been introduced to tapping before and have got a little bit muddled about what words am I supposed to say, we don't need any. Your body is already tuned in to where it's at and what it needs and so we're just going to allow the tapping to do the work. So the first point we're going to is right up on top of the head, so basically straight up from the top of the ears, topping, tapping right up on top of your head there. And then we're moving to the eyebrow point. So just find the sort of the front corner, if you like, of your eyebrow. Just a couple of fingers, just tapping on both there. And then we're going to go out to the side of the eye. So just notice I've not gone up into the temple area. 
I'm actually just straight out, directly out from the side of the eye. <clears throat> and then we're dropping down to under the eyes, onto the, the bones there, the cheekbones. And we just tap maybe seven to ten times on each point, it doesn't matter how many times. And then we're going to under the nose. And then we're going to find the groove, the groove inside under the lower lip. Not out on the point of the chin, but actually in that groove under the lower lip. And now we're going to move to the collarbones. So just find where your collarbones are and then just drop down and underneath them. And if this feels a little bit uh, awkward or you're not quite sure you're in the right place, then the alternative would be to just use your hand and just tap high up above the uh, across the collarbone area and that will ensure that you get both. And then the next point is on the, on the nipple line or on the brow line, so basically there. So we can get this one by sort of doing the gorilla pose. Or alternatively, you can just do one side if you feel it better and you can cross over and do it that way. So whatever you prefer. I prefer to hit all of the acupressure points that I can possibly hit all at the same time with the rounds and so I do both sides. But you can just do one side. It's really just up to you. So we're going to go now and do a couple of rounds more of silent tapping. Just remembering to take those deeper breaths as you can and blowing out, exhaling through the mouth as you go. Okay, well done. So we're just going to take in a fuller breath now to finish. And exhaling it through the mouth. And then another nice tool I'm just going to throw in there is it's quite nice to just give yourself a self-hug. Our body really responds to this, so um, it's just nice to just, you know, wrap one arm across the heart area and the other one around. Just give yourself a nice self-hug. Just reassuring, letting all parts of you know that you're okay. Right here, right now, doing this with me, you're okay. Good. So what I want to recommend is that you 
do the tapping a minimum of three times a day. Just tap when you can. It's really good to just tie it into a habit that we do all the time. So, for example, you could tie it into when you go to the toilet, you just do some tapping. Or when you put the jug on to boil, you do some tapping. Or before you eat or after you eat, you do some tapping. So really look to integrate this as something that you can do each day because the more you do it, the more it's going to have that cumulative effect on your system. So don't worry. If you can't remember all of the points, it doesn't matter. Just go with ones that you remember or that you particularly liked. You know, some people might find that this one's just really, really good. Um, just go with what feels good for you. It might be that you just simply tap on the karate chop point. It doesn't matter which point you're tapping on. So long as you're tapping correctly on that point or points, then you're doing good work and you're going to experience the benefit of it. Okay. There is just one other thing that I'd like to share with you. If you're in a public situation and you feel a bit embarrassed about doing some tapping in more obvious places, then the other one is to use the hand points. So on the um, edge of most, except our, not our four, fourth finger, but every other finger, on the tap, uh, the top, sorry, beside the nail, we also have these acupressure points. So you can just tap them lightly. Don't worry about the fourth, uh, the fourth finger, um, just tap it anyway. Don't worry just if it has a pressure point or not. Um, or you can just do gentle hold. So I just grab either side of the nail and I just do a gentle hold or a gentle squeeze. I think of it as basically releasing relaxation juice through my hands, through my wrists, up my arms and into the rest of my body. So that's the kind of the visual picture that I've got when I'm doing this technique called hold and breathe. So simply just take in any finger, any thumb, and just take in a deeper breath. And let it go. And if you want to do a round, then you can just work your way around. There might be some fingers that you feel are not so comfortable and you don't like to do them. That's fine. Just don't do those. Miss them out. Okay, so hold and breathe is kind of like a public, publicly acceptable form of tapping when you're out and about and you just want to be discreet because if you're just doing this and you've got your hands down and you're just doing this and some gentle breathing along with it, nobody even need know that you're doing it but you're still doing some tapping and you're doing something that's really, really helpful for your body system, your nervous system, your brain, your immune system, everything. Um, so the more you can do this, the better it's going to be for you. So sending love to all of you who are dealing with some really difficult and challenging times right now. And I really hope that the, the, this is something that you can use that will help you. I'm sure that it can. Thank you.